はい。皆さんありがとうございます。えー、それではオリエント急行殺人事件引き続きやっていきましょう。Good morning, Monsieur Michel. Good morning, sir. Please enjoy our special breakfast in our restaurant. Good morning, Monsieur Michel. Good morning, sir. This delay is intolerable. I am supposed to be demonstrating the Firenze in Paris in two days. Ah, oh, your electric car. Yes, that's bad luck. Bad luck? If I miss that demonstration, I'll be in deep trouble. Just text your people in Paris and warn them. Of course I tried that. But there is no network service in these mountains. My daughter said it would be the easiest way in the world. Just sit on the train until I got to Paris. And now we may be here for days, and my boat sails the day after tomorrow. How am I going to catch it now? I can't even send an email to cancel it. Ugh, I'm just too mad to talk about it. My colleagues were to meet me in Paris. They will wonder what has happened to me. I can get no words to them. What will they think? We have refugees to help. Good morning, madam. The snow is a predicament, is it not? I am Russian. Snow is no stranger to me. Ah, the accent. Would it be St. Petersburg? You are very perceptive. Monsieur Poirot, is it not? And may I take it I have the honor of addressing Princess Natalia Dragomirov? We dispense with the old titles these days. My husband, all of my past was taken from me by these Stalinists. When they were gone, I became director of the St. Petersburg Museum of Antiquities to restore and preserve what I can of my country's history. Still, the delay must be vexing. If I must be late for my appointments, then they will wait. I know that I would certainly wait, madame. It has been my extreme pleasure to make your acquaintance, madame. Au revoir, Monsieur Poirot. A beautiful piano, what a luxury. Pity there's no one to play it. Mademoiselle, you are not concerned about the train stopping? What can one do? Indeed, this does not make the train move. You have great strength to remain calm at a time like this. I know one far, far stronger than I. And that is? Well, that old lady, for instance. You have probably noticed her. She just has to lift her little finger and ask for something in a polite voice, and the whole train runs. It runs also for my friend Monsieur Bouc, but that is because he is a director of the line, 
not because he has a masterful character. You don't have to have a strong will when you have power. But I suspect I did not need to tell you that, Mr... Poirot. Mr. Poirot. Good morning, Mr. Fauché. You have early customers, I see. Yes. I am stuck serving here as well at breakfast. Everyone is impatient. They keep complaining that the train is not moving. As if I could get out and push it. It's too early for me to order a boxcar. That is the appropriate drink, I believe. A gin, triple sec, lemon and grenadine mix. A drink for a train indeed. But not, perhaps, for my breakfast. I think I will settle for an omelette. Good luck, sir. Miss Nielsen is helping to serve in the dining car. The Orient Express bar is certainly well stocked. How long are we expected to be stranded here? It won't do much good complaining to me. That fellow there with the moustache, he may know something. Excusez-moi, sir. Yes? Monsieur Bouc asks for you to join him in compartment 203. Uh, look here, Poirot. Can you tell us anything? I can tell you the snow, it will not move aside on its own. Of course, but you obviously have some influence with Book. I am going to see him now. I will ask him if he has any information. My good friend, come in. We have need of you. What has occurred? A passenger lies dead in his bed. Stabbed. A passenger? Which passenger? In there. He's an American. A man called Ratchet. It was his valet, Masterman, who was worried that Mr. Ratchet was not awake yet. Pierre Michel, the conductor, decided to break in and found the body. I see. Well, my friend, I think it is best not to touch anything and wait for the police to arrive. Oh, I tried to call the police, but there is no cell tower for many kilometers. We could be stuck in the snow for hours. The murderer is with us. On the train, now! The sooner we catch him, the sooner we'll be out of danger. The Dr. Constantine is already examining the body. Mon ami, this is not a missing train ticket. 
We must follow procedure. We must wait for the police to secure the crime scene. Please, Poirot. I will take full responsibility. Book, you ask. Well, if we cannot contact the outside world, then... Oh, you are going to drive me crazy. In truth, this problem intrigues me. I was reflecting not half an hour ago that many hours of boredom lay ahead whilst we are stuck here. And now, a problem lies ready to my hand. You accept then? C'est entendu. You place the matter in my hands. Good. We are all at your service. This is the room right here. Mr. Poirot, I am Dr. Constantine. Forgive me, Doctor. You are a medical examiner? No, but I have assisted in post-mortems at Nairobi Hospital, where I am a teaching fellow. I am familiar with your excellent institution. I do not intend to perform a full autopsy, but a preliminary examination should be of some use. Of course. May I have a look? Then we can compare notes. Please. If you need any help, I won't be far away. Mr. Poirot, I am Dr. Constantine. Forgive me, Doctor. You are a medical examiner? No, but I have assisted in post-mortems at Nairobi Hospital, where I am a teaching fellow. I am familiar with your excellent institution. I do not intend to perform a full autopsy, but a preliminary examination should be of some use. Of course. May I have a look? Then we can compare notes. Please. That's the right answer. This door communicates with compartment 204. The latch is open on this side. This morning, the murderer would have left tracks in the snow if he had jumped out the window. I wonder what could be in this photo.
for Daisy. Hmm, interesting. That was easy. The chain lock is broken. Monsieur Michel told me that he broke the chain on the door to get into the room. Expensive clothing, recently laundered. Not very surprising. Ratchet had an appointment he will never keep. I'll take photos. Ah, a meeting place on the back of a postcard. Someone with the initials A.W. Box of sleeping pills. I shouldn't leave until I have finished inspecting the crime scene.
Could it belong to a ratchet? I'm sure I will find some interesting things inside. This phone was deliberately smashed. Last night, Monsieur Ratchet said he takes precautions. I see now what he meant. He knew he was in danger and wanted to be ready. Yet it was no use to him. I will leave it here for the police. is broken, the hands are stopped at 1.15 a.m. One would expect that to be the time when the attack occurred. As you see, the victim has been stabbed many times. Several alone would have been fatal. Yes, I agree. An attack most savage. I will, of course, prepare a complete report on my findings. Thank you. H embroidered on it. I'm sorry, Doctor, but I must question you. Of course. I must be considered under suspicion like everyone else. May I know your movements last night? I share compartment 101 with Mr. Booth. He would not stop talking about his beloved train. I listened to him for hours talking about his Orient Express. My friend Book will no doubt confirm this. Did you know the victim? Not at all. I noticed him last night at dinner, but I did not pay much attention. Did you touch anything in here this morning? I checked for a pulse. There was none. Rigor mortis had commenced. The body was cool to the touch. I touched nothing else. What can you tell me about the victim? He died from multiple stab wounds of varying angles and depth. More than one would have been fatal. I would place the time of death roughly between midnight and 2 a.m. With more time, I hope I can be more precise. I assume the open window complicates matters. Indeed. Conditions are not perfect. Thank you for your help, Doctor. This is wrong, but I'm never far from the truth. I must admit I'm not right this time.
I can't imagine Ratchet taking a sleeping pill if he feared for his life. That's the right answer. I'm right again. That happens to me a lot. I shouldn't leave until I have finished it. The chain lock is Monsieur Michel. Not exactly the reading material one would expect of a man like Ratchet. I shouldn't leave. I shouldn't leave until I have finished inspecting the crime scene.
何を見逃してる I shouldn't leave. <笑>出れない。This door communicates with compartment 204. The latch is open on this side. I wonder what could be in this photo. I wonder what could be in this photo. This morning, the murderer would have left tracks in the snow if he had jumped out the window. Eh, I don't know, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. ありがとうございました。どうぞ会話でした。